Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 24th, 2022. Well, I hope everyone had a restful weekend because it looks like we have another volatile week ahead with tremendous uncertainty to face in the market. Let's see if we can get some idea how we may want to approach the market for today looking at these index charts in the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know we have had just a very painful market condition here in the market that's likely punished an awful lot of folks if you weren't really focused in on um, support resistance and trend in these charts. So let's take a look at what we have going on. The last couple of days Thursday and Friday I suggested that we were in a oversold condition in the market but it is that uncertainty that continues to activate those bears and push us down. As you know, I've been suggesting watch out for the potential whipsaws, the back and forth, and even su suggested on Friday that it may be difficult for the market to stand up on its own two feet heading into this uncertain weekend. And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened. And we are looking at a futures market that is whipsawed overnight. And as you can see here in the pre-market activity, is suggesting a little bit lower here this morning um, in the pre-market. So what have we got going in here? Well, first off, I think there is a little bit of hope on the horizon. If you take a quick look right in here, we have a significant level of price support in the chart. And we are um, potentially approaching that here this morning. So this significant level price support, as you can see here in the diamonds, runs all the way across here. Now, unfortunately, if we do find reason for some bullishness, then we've got lots of price resistance above to be watching for. We've got resistance in here, and you can see just tons and tons of price resistance in this chart. So if we do find reason to move to the upside or get a little relief rally, you're going going to want to be careful. These could be big point moves, but remember a lot of damage has been done in folks' accounts. And as um, they come up out of this, there may not be the the wild speculative um, um, pile back in as we've seen in the past that everyone rushes back into the market all at once. Be really careful here as we approach resistance levels in the chart. That may not be the case. Now, what if we were to push on down and fall through this level? Well, I'd hate to see that happen, um, at least in this wave down, but watch that uh, for that potential closely because if we do drop through that level, let me note that we've got a long ways that we could really fall here point-wise, and then it just continues to worsen if we look at that um, chart that way. So hopefully that doesn't occur, but we certainly want to be prepared for that possibility. Also, it would be really wise to kind of note that this trend is very, very sharp, and typically a, a trend that sharp to the downside can be sustained for a whole long time. So I'd be watching for that possibility of a little relief rally to come in here soon um, if we can get just a little inkling of bullishness um, in some of these earnings uh, numbers, economic numbers, or some of this geopolitical t tension to try and um, fall to the wayside here. Um, kind of holding our breath on that, I'm afraid. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. Now, SPY also significantly bearish, and um, Friday we pushed all the way back down into this level here. And as you can see, um, we have got a little bit of bearishness showing up here this morning in the chart. If you look at this level right here, we do have some nice support and we have, um, whoops, my drawing tools changed on their own there, I apologize. Um, we have some more um, right through here price support. So if we were to fail through this area, look for this next level in here for some price support. And as we rally back, we're going to have to watch carefully some of these resistance levels in the chart in the SPY are substantial. Um, 
in these charts and there could be an awful lot of effort to try and move back up through there will we'll require a lot of effort to push back up through those levels now keep in mind both the diamonds and um, the SPY have fallen below their 200 day moving average and every time we see something like that as we rally we want to watch that 200 day because it really could serve as a resistance level in the chart and then see additional selling and notice that we've got that price area right in here that could serve as that resistance as we try to travel back up in that chart. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our NASDAQ has been really heavily beat up and unfortunately we saw tech um, continuing to sell off in Asian markets last night. European markets are decidedly bearish this morning with some ugliness showing up in their charts this morning worried about FOMC worried about the geopolitical um, situation over there in the Ukraine now notice right in here on the QQQ we slid down through this level of price support on Friday so there is that real possibility we could test this bigger level right down in here on uh, the QQQ that could be um, an uncomfortable morning if that selling pushes down into there but watch that potential closely and what we want do want to um, really keep in mind is we have broken the long-term upside trend here in the chart um, we are clearly in a downtrend and we've got a tremendous amount of resistance to the upside if we do find reason to rally so let's hope that we can catch a little support in this area and start that little bit of relief rally but I wouldn't um, I wouldn't be that person shouting the all clear sign until we really start recapturing some of these support levels in the chart also keep in mind we are well below our 200 day moving average and that rally back to that 200 day moving average would be a significant point move and we're going to run right into some major price resistance levels in that area so watch for that potential if we do rally back we could just follow that downtrend here in the chart let's take a look at our Russell now IWM has been ugly 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 ever since we broke um, this level in here and we know we've got a situation of the death cross with the 50 crossing down through the 200 on this chart this isn't quite as as steep of a downtrend so any rally back into this resistance area in here could prove to be problematic unless we can push back up through there Russell's not looking too happy here and notice we've got a not much price support in this chart all the way down into this area here so we've got a potential here that the Russell could lead the mark lower so keep that in mind and and there is that death cross with that 50 crossing down through the 200 in the chart so even if we do rally back up to that level just realize that as we rally back up all of these moving averages crossing down in here will create a zone of resistance right there in that area let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX um, I, I gotta tell you was a little bit surprising that it it didn't register more fear on Friday than it did um, it obviously spiked up here and we're pushing back up into this high level but remember our December low we had a lot more fear than we're actually showing right now and maybe it's just that point where we've just kind of given up and realized that we're going to sell off and maybe we're not quite as fearful from the shock of that but unfortunately holding up here around 28 handles 29 handles in the chart certainly suggests some wild price volatility is likely which makes it very very challenging if you are an option trader just keep in mind every single option is probably priced significantly higher with wider bid ask spreads due to this price volatility calculation so keep a close eye on that if we do find reason for a little bit of bullishness and start pulling back in here we have quite a few levels of price support in that chart so we could pull back into this area right in here find a little price support we could also pull back into that 20 handle area to find that price support so we've got a lot of work here before we start 
to turn this around and start to show bullishness here in the VIX. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now T2122 would be the indicator that would give us the best hope of a relief rally to begin. And it's kind of been hinting at that for the last couple of days, but it's all of this uncertainty in that FOMC meeting coming up Wednesday that's probably keeping those bears engaged here. So let's keep a close eye on this. We are certainly extremely oversold in the market, which would suggest if we could get a relief rally, it could be rather substantial, but remember um, some of that wild speculation money has been lost in those accounts here recently and it may not be as energetic or robust as we have experienced in the past. So watch that carefully if we do start coming up. Let's take a look at that T2108. Now T2108 um, gave us some un uh, uncomfortableness here in um, that chart, noticing that we were pushing down pretty substantially, only 22% of our stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. And let's keep in mind, not quite as bad as it was in December. So that gives us a little ray of sunshine of hope in here that we could bounce in this area and start picking back up. But let's just keep in mind, this continues to be in a substantial downtrend. The same thing with T2107, the number of stocks above the two 200 day moving average. Notice that we were holding on to that little bit of hope that maybe we were coming around here in this chart, but we have certainly failed back down through these levels of price support in the chart, continuing to provide that downtrend. Now we've got 27, 28% of our stocks below the, the 200 day moving average. So what that would suggest to us is that um, we are reaching that extreme oversold uh, position in the market and a bounce hopefully will be within um, well soon um, but we may have to wait until we get past that FOMC before we get going to the upside. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 typically rallies when uh, and moves up when we are in a selling wave in the market. This has been really volatile in here and you can notice right in here we're pushing back above that downtrend, back above this price support level in the chart. So if this were to pull back, if we were to get some bullishness and this were to pull back, we'll want to watch that area right in there where we might bounce and move on higher with another wave of bears attacking the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar isn't a real heavy day, but we do have something on here we want to be paying attention to. Let's keep in mind that these economic numbers have really been hinting at the possibility of a economic slowdown. And when we think about the Fed raising rates and, and pulling back on that money supply, that would certainly support that idea. Typically when the Fed pulls back on money supply, when they raise interest rates, the purpose is to slow the economy. So keep an eye on that. But we've got this PMI flash here this morning. I'm not, I don't know if we'll get a huge market reaction to this unless they miss on this number. Um, if they were to miss badly on this number, that could be a problem for us. But uh, looking at 56 6.7 on that PMI flash. So keep a close eye on that this morning. Now, as we progress through the week, um, we're, we're going to have some significant market moving um, events possible. We've got that consumer um, confidence number coming out here. Those those have been showing some problems, so we'll want to watch that. We've got that international trading goods, new home sales that are um, home sales starting to struggle here just a little bit. That petroleum status number, and then the Mac Daddy of the week. We've got that FOMC and the Fed chair press conference after that, where it's largely expected the Fed will. Um, suggest interest rate hikes as early as March. Keep a close eye as we progress into Thursday. It's not going to get any easier. Durable goods and GDP, jobless claims coming into play, and then that personal incomes and outlays on Friday. So as you plan forward, just take a look. We've got quite a few events that could keep that volatility high in the market. And then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings are starting to slowly ramp up here and we've got about oh, 50 or so companies on the calendar and a good number of them are um, 
are um, confirmed reports. So we've got quite a little um, um, activity here and it's going to continue to ramp up through the week. Now, having said that, we have, um, I pulled out some of the notables for today. And if um, you guys wanna see the full list of notables, and I would recommend you start checking the blog because as we ramp up on these earnings reports, um, there's no way I will be able to recover all of the uh, those notables in a morning report just like today so let's take a look at boh um, boh will be reporting today keep an eye on that we've got cr reporting um, kind of an uncomfortable pattern here where we've double topped and maybe breaking that trend so that would be an important report today keep an eye on cr we've got halliburton halliburton reporting today now this has been moving in that beautiful upside trend along with oil but keep in mind, guys, as oil moves higher, every dollar it moves higher, it puts more and more pressure on that inflation and probably inspires that Fed to be uh, more aggressive. So watch that carefully there. And we've got IBM. IBM um, will be reporting later today. Pay attention to that. We've got PetSmart in there that's going to re be reporting. We've got a little bit of steel with steel dynamics and oh my goodness did this thing just fall out of bed here recently we were pushing back up looking like we might get moving here to the upside and then just collapse to the downside so that would be a very significant report today so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be useful and to be helpful in planning of your day if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I also wanna say thank you and a huge shout out to those folks who've been supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. It's just below the title of the video. If you wanna support this kind of content without all the hype and all of the prediction in the market, um, there's an opportunity there and I just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact the way the market is running um, right now there is so much uncertainty I really want to caution everyone of being careful of jumping and rushing into any trade in this market whether it be long or short because we have so much volatility there is not a lot of edge to be had in this market but that that said let's take a look at a few stocks that continue to hang in there now as you guys know coke is one of those that have been holding in this pattern here and i actually hold this to to uh, uh, full disclosure i hold this position and i'm down on it just a little bit at the moment but as we're resting in here in this pattern remember some of these defensive sector stocks have been holding up really really well and um, we'll want to keep a close eye on many of those defensive sector stocks because they continue to provide a little bit of security to investors as the market whipsaws around so watch that carefully in there on coca-cola you may want to keep that eye on BMY and even though BMY suffered some selling here on Friday I'm not sure that we've really given up this pattern just yet that possibility that we could bounce right off of this area and catch that little bit of buying coming in here I think it's worth keeping an eye on it but I would be a little bit more careful and cautious than um, I have been in the past or you've been in the past um, because of this wild volatility it is certainly possible this thing could just fall straight out of bed and come apart now one thing we're going to have to make sure and do make sure you're paying very close attention to these earnings reports um, as you can see um, TC2000 lists um, the earnings up here and while I'll, I will tell you that they're not always always perfectly correct um, it does give you that heads up warning when you're looking at a chart um, that it may be approaching its earnings very quickly. And some of those stocks, guys, that you're going to want to be paying attention to, take a look at Apple. 
Apple has been in an ugly downtrend. It will be reporting um, coming up here really, really soon. So watch that carefully. We've been in an ugly, ugly downtrend here in the chart. And I know there's been wild speculation, wild speculation in these charts for a long period of time. But I have to tell you with that uncertainty that we saw in some of the tech earnings already, um, this could be a very dangerous trade. So keep in mind some of these earnings reports. Let's take a look. Same thing with Microsoft. Um, be careful just jumping into these, just assuming that they're going to rip to the upside because boy, oh boy, we saw what happened when they miss on Netflix. So watch that closely. Running in a downtrend, significant resistance levels above. Be really, really careful of wild speculation in the charts like this with that uncertainty of earnings. Now, typically those two guys, they tend to, to um, um, report really, really well. And there'd be no reason to believe that they can't report really, really well um, this time around. But I got to tell you, um, there is enough uncertainty out there that even if they do report well, they could whipsaw badly. So watch those carefully. And remember, we've got tomorrow, we're going to have Microsoft in here reporting. And that could be, um, uh, well, <laughs> you know, it could be a wild ride depending on how they report. Let's take a look at a couple others in here. Um, Macy's. Macy's has been, there's been a lot of moving around here in some of these um, um, retail stocks um, with uh, potential acquisition of Kohl's and it looks like there's a little bit of a bidding war in there on Kohl's. Take a look at this downtrend here in Macy's. We have significant resistance levels above in this chart and as we rally back into this area, if you're looking for a short trade, you might want to keep an eye on this. If this were to fail right in this area, it looks like it would have some more downside. If you want something long here, make sure it breaks those downtrends, proves to hold a support level before you start looking at charts like that. You might also look at Mondelez. Mondelez on Friday moved up sharply but pulled back by the end of the day because of that selling. Here's these big defensive sector stocks holding up in nice uh, trends, showing bullishness and that opportunity that that could move on higher here. And uh, Merck is another one of those. Um, in that category that got hit just a little bit on Friday pulling back, but we're still holding up overall in this trend in here, maybe holding some support levels in here. So if we can find reason for bullishness, these might be those that turn around and come back up. So keep a close eye on those. So with that, guys, there's a few stocks for you to chew on. Um, I got to tell you, I would be a little bit careful and cautious what I have been doing largely. Um, um, I've been short. I've taken on most of those profit. Well, I think I believe I believe I took on Friday, took the last of my um, short profits on Friday. And I'm just going to be maybe sitting on my hands here a little bit, um, being really, really careful um, how I approach this market. I'll be watching price action closely and see if, if I can get something going here to the upside. Um, um, but even the, the credit spreads, bull put credit spreads have not been possible because of the volatility and market makers uncertainty. They're just not providing any good prices for those. So watch carefully and approach this market with some caution. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, right and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.